Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. We have a young patient who has traveled from abroad with a chief complaint of multiple hammer toes, uh, hammer toe deformities, both fifth toes with really ugly corns that the patient has been battling for approximately six years in duration. During the course of the last six years, the patient took the liberty to not only use over-the-counter remedies, exactly, yes. corn removers, yes. makeup tattoos, makeup tattoos, none of which worked at all. None of which worked at all. So the patient finally decided to seek medical treatment. Medical and that's what brings the patient here today. Exactly. So, you know, the nice thing about the hammer toes, right? We'll talk a little bit about hammer toes without the corn, and then we'll address the corns as well. In respect to the hammer toe correction that we perform, we use all of our minimally invasive techniques. One little suture, maybe one on the top as well, if needed. Um, and these, these techniques just simply work and work really well. We don't use any pin screws or plates. We're in our office-based surgical suite. Patient is awake, local anesthesia. Okay. Patient walked in, is going to walk out. Yes, patient was awake the entire time and the patient will be walking out today after my procedure and before the procedure, so. Yes. Right, so it took 30 minutes at the most. 30 minutes. Both feet. Mm -hmm. yep. Lunchtime. Procedure. Yes. And already the patient is extremely happy. Very happy. And that's kind of like the nice thing of, of what we do. Now, let's talk a little bit about the corns. There is no way, even though we have refined to the best of our, of our abilities these techniques, there's no way to excise these ugly corns using one stitch. There's just no way, but we have refined our, our surgical techniques to make sure that we achieve the, the most aesthetic clinical outcome. So Caesar, without further ado, let's, um, we'll definitely plug in the before pictures and now let's uh, show the world. Okay, so we're looking at the bottom of the foot, one suture. So just to be very, very clear with the entire world, if there was no excision of the ugly corns today, it would only be this one suture. Okay, let's bring the toe, there we go. So this is, the, this is where we excised the pesky ugly corn. As everyone can see, the toe is straight. We're gonna go ahead and, and rotate, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the right foot, but we're gonna go ahead and rotate. We don't use any pin screws or plates. So now we implement very delicate and intricate taping and splinting techniques. So we're gonna hold the toe nice and straight like that for a period of about three weeks. It's gonna be wonderful. Patient, again, like I said before, walks in, walks out. Patient can do, you know, get back to daily life activities, work mm -hmm. tomorrow, not a problem. Right. Not a problem. Let's take a look at the, the right, Caesar. Okay. And uh, taking a look at the right, same thing. We have already, this is what I we use, a little Steri strip. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and implement this again for about three weeks. Let's take a look at the bottom here. There's that one suture. And that's it. So... You know, this is just, you know, using these, these minimally invasive techniques has really changed the way that we approach these structural and biomechanical deformities. We use the same principles, not only for hammer toes, but also for bunions of the world, for Taylor's bunionettes of the world, and basically the sky's the limit. But 
you know, we will continue to, uh, to refine our, our surgical techniques to make sure that we're, we're able to deliver the highest, you know, standard of the care. Would you like to say anything to the world in respect to your experience here with us? Um, I would just like to say that um, I came in, all the staff was very friendly, Dr. Webman and staff was very kind, um, very welcoming. And um, today, just walked in, was numb within a few seconds, walked over to the OR, had the surgery. Um, I didn't feel any pain or anything like that. Dr. Webman, he explained everything he was doing throughout the procedure. It only took about 20 minutes and I did not feel anything. So I will recommend that, you know, if anybody is having or experiencing these unsightly corners on your feet or you have any hematomas, just please, please come to Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, and see Dr. Wagner. Thank you. We will continue to do what we do. Caesar, do you want to say anything? So are you. You tell me. We will continue to do what we do. We will continue to educate the world that these minimally invasive anesthetic procedures do exist. Education at the core of what we do is the key. People don't know that these procedures do exist. They don't. You know, and that's and that's part of our goal to educate. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's also a confidence booster, so I am so excited. Um, I'm going to most definitely follow his recommendations, his treatment plan throughout these next three, four weeks, and just look forward to um, seeing what the aftermath looks like. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, and we spoke about, you know, the different skin types as well. That's something that we take into consideration in respect to, you know, people that may, may heal with, you know, either a keloid hypertrophic scar. We, we take those, you know, uh, variables into consideration. And of course, you know, um, we spoke also about the SCAR, you know, management program afterwards. That's something that we also implement to make sure that we maximize mm -hmm. the, the aesthetic elements. As always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.